Public procurement and taxation are some of the conduits used by the corrupt to steal 10 trillion shillings every financial year. This is contained in a scientific study that was conducted by the Inspectorate of Government in 2021. Mainly what happens, the tax collectors mm. share the taxes between themselves and government, their pockets and government. So they under-declare taxes, sometimes they don't declare taxes, but they put them they share them with the taxpayer uh, under declaration, falsification of documents. Through procurement and raw corruption, a lot of money is embezzled. The corrupt and their enablers carry out their crime through forging meeting minutes and creating fake activities that are heavily funded. When the activities are cleared, the money that is released to execute them is wired to accounts of low-level staff who later withdraw it and give it to their bosses in cash. Due to corruption, Uganda's current budget has been negatively affected, forcing government to borrow 27 trillion shillings to cater for this year's budget that stands at 52 trillion Ugandan shillings. According to Betty Kamia, Uganda is now being led by mediocres who are extremely selfish. Earlier on stated that uh, Uganda is now being led by mediocres. Kindly enlighten us on that. Well, what I said is that there's a lot of fake certificates in the market. And there are a lot of people whom we have investigated who have got employment in government, or, or especially in, and in local government, who are holding either fake certificates from NASA Road. Lucy Nachobe, the head of public services, has asked accounting officers to stand their ground when approached by mafia gangs who claim to be known in higher offices like State House to execute some work. I work in State House, I was a State House controller and orders from above should have been from the president, and I never saw them come. So if they cannot come from the president, then they are coming from where? Beckham Lindy, NTV Tonight.